Well, today we're reviewing a new bird feeding product by Netview BirdFi, BirdFi Hum Feeder, or a, a smart hummingbird feeder. Like all of the other Netview BirdFi products I've tested in the last two years, it's well-made, well-engineered, quality construction. And this is a nice, uh, lightweight, modular design. And some of the features, there's a forward-facing 3-megapixel high-definition camera, and also a side-view 3-megapixel camera. So you get two views of the hummingbirds that come to feed. And you've got three hummingbird ports here in front. It's a nice looking unit, so it'd be great to hang on your deck or your porch. It's got an integrated Wi-Fi antenna, and on the back here is where the uh, solar panel connects and the uh, power button. You just use a long push on, long push off, and then a reset button. You want to make sure you have the silicone plug in there nice and tight, and then this is uh, opened up to where you insert your USB connection to the solar panel. Also has an integrated ant mode, little container on the top of the BirdFi uh, hum feeder where you fill this up with water. Comes with an S hook right here for it hanging. So you just put a little bit of water in here and then the ants can't crawl down the hook and get into the feeder. It's got a real easy to remove and insert reservoir for the nectar. And it holds 20 ounces. And the one thing about the nectar that I'll say is for years and years I've just been making my own nectar and all you really need is refined sugar, a couple pounds of refined sugar that costs a couple of dollars at the grocery store and just plain water and that's all you need. You don't need to buy any hummingbird nectar and you don't want to have any red nectar with the food dye in it because that's not good for the small hummingbirds. So all you do here is mix this with sugar, refined sugar at 4 to 1 ratio. This is a 20 ounce container so you could put in four ounces of sugar and 16 ounces of uh, warm water. What I do is I just take the uh, sugar and hot water from the tap, mix it up in a big measuring cup and stir it up real good. It doesn't take long to dissolve and then let it cool down and then fill up my hummingbird feeder containers and then put them back in. So in this case, 20 ounces would be about full. So I would probably put like three ounces of refined sugar with 12 ounces of water for a 15 ounces and fill this up with 15 ounces of nectar. Put it back in here like this, and it locks in place nice and neat. There's just two quick uh, turns on this bottom knob to remove the nectar tray. You know, in my case, I don't have really a problem with ants. I have more of a problem with the yellow jackets and hornets getting in there. The ant mode will stop the ant, but the yellow jackets won't be able to pass through into here to get to the nectar chamber. And because there's three ports, it just has a small nectar chamber connected to the uh, reservoir. And it comes with this nice silicon cover. Also comes with a spare silicon cover. So it's easy to clean. It's just a few quick turns to take the base off, clean everything out. A few quick turns to take the reservoir off. It's nice that they included two quality brushes. One, a big brush. So you take out this plug here and clean that. And then the big brush you just insert in here like this. And you got a good way to thoroughly clean your nectar container. And that's really important. You got to keep, when it comes to hummingbirds, the little guys need all the help they can get. So you're giving them sugar water, but you also want to keep their nectar clean. You don't want to leave it out there too long, especially in hot weather. You'll start to see like black mold or something growing in there. And that's not a good sign. It's not good for your hummingbirds. And these little uh, artificial flowers just pop out. Easy to clean. And they come with a little brush to clean those out. And so if you're going to feed hummingbirds, you really want to take cleanliness seriously. So this is really a nice unit, and they've put a lot of work into it. This is not cheaply made at all. That it goes into there like that. Quick turn and it locks. And then your base, you just line up this arrow with the lock button there. Like that. A quick turn and it's locked in. And really about the only thing you have to assemble is this little perch that uh, comes and you just insert it here and there and you're good to go. So you can see it's really a nice, attractive unit. You want to make sure to remove the plastic covers from the cameras, otherwise it'll look blurry. And uh, I'm kind of excited about this because I'm going to take this up to the mountains of North Carolina where I have tons of hummingbirds every spring through fall, early fall. That'll be where I'll uh, actually test out and get the videos of the hummingbirds because whenever I do a test, 
I always include a lot of uh, real videos of the birds. So as far as setting this up, you can see it comes pretty much assembled. You put the little hook that comes in it like that, put some water in your ant moat, and then hang it on your porch or deck or out in the yard. When it comes to uh, setting it up for the first time, you want to use the included USB cable to charge the battery for about eight to 10 hours to make sure it's fully charged. And when you're charging it, a little light here will be flashing red while it's charging and then after it's fully charged, it'll turn solid red. And when you turn it on, it's just a long push on the power button and you see the blue light will come on. And then you're ready to hook it up to the BirdFi app on your phone and watch the hummingbirds come and go on your uh, app on your phone in high definition and be able to share it with uh, friends and family. I know this is going to be a lot of fun. I mean, the other bird five feeders and smart bird feeders that I've tested have been fun. But to be able to see and to hear the hummingbirds up close will be kind of special. The other thing that comes with it I guess it's optional. You can either get it with or without the solar panel. This is the uh, solar panel that comes with it. It's very similar to the solar panels on the other bird fight products. It's uh, pretty much bulletproof. It comes with a, uh, a number of ways to install it. You can install it on a wall or a post or a pole. And then it comes with this arm that you put into the mounting bracket and then you can adjust it to where it's facing the sun. It's really uh, quite simple to set up. And it's really nice that they include a quality brush like this because if you've ever tried to clean these out with a toothbrush or something like that, it's hard to do a good job. And cleanliness is really important when it comes to hummingbirds. So this is really a nice little feature to have a custom made uh, cleaner for this chamber. And you don't want to go more than a few days in the hot weather without uh, cleaning the hummingbird feeder. What I usually do is I don't necessarily fill it all the way up until I know how, how fast the birds are eating the nectar. A lot of times I'll fill it up just halfway. You know, I'll make a bunch of, I'll make a, make a couple of quarts of nectar and keep it in a refrigerator in advance and just maybe start out with half filling it and see how it goes. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out. And of course I'll have uh, more videos to follow up with the uh, hummingbird action. To summarize, it's an attractive, well-made, smart hummingbird feeder with dual cameras, a front forward-facing camera and a side camera, HD 3 megapixel cameras that you can watch the action on your phone and share with your family and friends. And the BirdFi app has been, you know, tried and tested over the last several years. There's a lot of different products that use the same app. It has an integrated Wi-Fi antenna, it's got a built-in ant mode. It also has the uh, barriers in here that would stop uh, yellow jackets and hornets from crawling inside and getting into your reservoir. Easy to take apart and clean. They put a lot of thought into making that simple. So now I'll review the BirdFi app and how you connect this to your phone so you can look at the uh, hummingbirds in HD and share it with your friends and family. The BirdFi app that you use to work with all the smart bird feeders, including the hummingbird feeder, is very simple and I've been using it for about a year and a half or so. You just open up the BirdFi app and it works with all the various products and I have uh, the BirdFi bamboo and the pole camera and here's the hum feeder here. And all you have to do to add a new product is hit the uh, add device right here. And then there's a QR code on each product and you just use the camera of your phone and scan that. And then I've already done that. You scan that and it'll come in and uh, automatically identify the uh, parameters of your BirdFi hum feeder and then come up and then you connect with your Wi-Fi uh, network and password. And then it has to be 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, almost all home Wi-Fi networks now are compatible with both 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. So that's not a problem. And then you put in your uh, Wi-Fi ID and password. It's going to generate a QR code on the app and you're going to scan that QR code with the front camera. And when that happens, then you're connected and everything is good to go. And then it'll show up on your app like this. And you just go live. And of course, I'm in my uh, table out here. So I don't have a hummingbird, so I've got a little uh, simulated bird right here in the front camera. And so you can see here's the front view and there's the side view. And my bear is always likes to be involved in uh, making videos. So that's uh, really how simple it is to set up and it's pretty bulletproof. I haven't had any problems with the BirdFi app over the years. And you can see the blue light on here. When it's pairing, the blue light will be flashing. There's a micro SD card slot, but it's not uh, designed to use a micro SD card, so it won't record on a micro SD card. 
What you do get is free 30-day cloud storage, so you don't have to pay for any storage. And so for 30 days, it'll save your triggered uh, videos and photos to the cloud, and then you can just review them on your phone and download them to your phone. And so, you know, as long as you get whatever you want within 30 days, you don't have to pay for anything. And, you know, after 30 days, I think it starts to write over again. But 30 days is plenty of time to download what you need because this is, a you know, on a Wi-Fi through a smartphone app, you can do this from anywhere in the world. You can leave feeder at home and still check on it uh, and get alerts on it when you're far away. And now you can also do recordings from the screen. And this is where you can get the highest uh, definition. So you can go in here and select HD and pick one of the cameras like the uh, side camera and get a close view of it and then you can either take a picture or record so right now I'm recording that view there and that saves this directly to your phone so if you're watching live in real time you get an alert that there's a hummingbird there and you're watching on your phone live in real time you can do a high definition recording right to your phone and we'll end that recording go back to the two camera view and if you wanted to look at the front camera you would go here click on that and pick uh, full screen and then you have your uh, we're in HD, and then you do a, either a snapshot or make a video. Now you see the sound screenshot and record here, and then you just pull down here to get to your, the rest of your menu with your settings. And there's really not too much to set. It's pretty much all set to go. You can adjust your motion detection and your sharing and the alerts. And then, of course, this is where you can... Uh, share your device with friends and family. And we're back to the live view. So that's it. The BirdFi hum feeder works great. Should be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to getting up to the mountains and getting uh, some nectar in there and exposing my hummingbirds to this and getting some videos and I'll share those with you. The following are some user generated videos. I'll follow up with some of my own videos from the North Carolina mountains when I get some uh, hummingbird videos probably in uh, late April or May.